Ah, uh, ah, uh, help. Hey man, are, are you okay? Are you all right? Breathe. You need, you need help? Uh, I'll be right back. You hang in there. How's it going, sir? Doing so good. My name's Corey, I'm an EMT. What's your name? Garabet. Okay, Garabet, what's going on today? What's causing you trouble? Having some trouble breathing. Okay, are you, uh, what happened before this trouble breathing came upon? Just cruising. Okay, were you skateboarding? Were you running? Just skating down that street and then okay. randomly just started to get some pain. When you chest. were skating, did the pain, um, how did it come on? Just suddenly. Suddenly, really suddenly, okay. If you could rate your pain like a one to 10, what do you think it would be? Like six. Okay, you know what? I think what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take some vitals and get you on some oxygen. That'll make sure you're still stable and we can further assess you. Okay. Marco, I'm gonna work around you and get that oxygen set up as you get those vitals. Okay, that's fine. Now, Garabet, do you have any history of chest pain or breathing issues? I have a history of asthma. Okay, you do have an history of asthma. Are you uh, currently prescribed any medications for that? Uh, a doctor gave me an inhaler. He did. Do you have that inhaler with you? Yes, I do. Okay. And like I said, we're just gonna get this oxygen on you. I'm gonna put this in your nose really quickly. Thank you. Around your ears. Awesome. Let me know if you feel any better with this oxygen. I'm just gonna feel your pulse really quickly. Okay, you're breathing a little bit fast, it seems like. Marco, do you have that uh, stethoscope? I can listen to his lungs. The blood pressure was 134 over 86. 134, did you also get a pulse ox on him? Not yet, but I can. Okay, thank you. Can you just take a few deep breaths in and out for me? I'm gonna put this on your industry. Oh. Sure. SPO2 is 93. Okay, okay. Garabet, this inhaler looks like it is per correctly prescribed to you. It also is in within the expiration date and is the correct dose. I think it's a really good idea if we assist you with your inhaler. Do you know how to use it? Okay, go ahead and I'm just gonna coach you through this. Okay, sir, that's actually not how you use your inhaler. <laughs> Once again, it. okay, so what you're actually going to do oh, inhaler. is I'm gonna put it up to your mouth as you hold it with me. I'm gonna press down. As I depress it, you're going to take a nice deep breath in, nice and slow. You're gonna hold it in your lungs. Try to breathe nice and deep and slowly. After it's depressed, I'm going to have you hold your breath in for about five seconds and blow out with your lips slightly pursed. Okay? Perfect. Are you feeling any better? Yes. Okay, great. At this time, I really think it'd be a good idea to still transport you to the hospital just to make sure there's no other complications or problems. Like I said, I know you are prescribed an inhaler, but it's just better to be safe than sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and transport you and you'll be a-okay.